Well, that was anticlimactic, but at least it means that, um, we're not going to be interrupting most of those story scenes for Rank 10 Social Link. If there's, like, a, a story scene in a part, I like to make that the focus. I usually don't like to have something else taking, um, precedence over it. I mean, there's a reason why we can't study. Because we're already maxed on knowledge. You know, Naoto has a good point, though. I mean, he's already suspicious of us, but we don't want a reason to make him even more suspicious. I like her way of thinking. And so, classroom time. Yes, yes, we know there are exams. Please stop reminding us. Hmm, somebody who avoids inconvenient truths. That totally isn't relevant to the entire theme of this game. Yeah, there are even like, um, I wouldn't even call them enemies, like kind of platforms in Crash Bandicoot 2 that follow that. Uh, it's chicken. Yeah, some cultures call it goose pimples as well, and others have completely different names for it. Oh, it's freezing! Why are we getting together on the roof on a day like this? Yeah, what's this urgent business about, Yosuke-senpai? Usually, whenever Yosuke says there's urgent business, I get worried. Seriously? I was busy handing out flyers at Juness. Hey, I saw you hitting on girls just outside the school gate. Was there some kind of progress in the case? I need you guys. You have to help me. You're the only ones I can rely on. Can you please keep this weekend open? So this right here is a golden exclusive scene, or at least the lead up to one. This weekend? Does this have anything to do with that event at the Inaba police station that's been cancelled? What are you talking about? The idol Konami Mashita was scheduled to be the honorary chief this Sunday. Oh my gosh! The famous Kahneman is coming all the way out to the boonies! Hey, hey, careful using that name around, Rise. So she's taking on jobs like that already. I have been seeing a lot of her on TV lately. I didn't know she belonged to the same agency as you, Rise-chan. I mean, if she's coming to Inaba now, the agency's obviously trying to use all the fuss about me to their favor. So what's the big deal about that being cancelled, Yosuke-senpai? There was going to be a big sale at Juness to take advantage of the event, but now it's down the tubes! It's not a joke! The police took forever to decide on cancelling the event. My dad's really in a fix now. He worked so hard to put this whole thing together, and I can't stand to see him like this. I can't just let it go. I heard that the police couldn't prepare for the event because I had gone missing. I'm sorry. This is my fault. No, blame the one who kidnapped you. Oh, it's not your fault. Don't blame yourself. But yeah, it does seem like that's what happened. In other words, yeah, it's not your fault, but actually it really is. Okay, so you called us up here. What do you want us to do about it? From the way it sounds, I gotta say, I don't think we can be much help. I want everyone to help me with a bunch of different tasks. Um, Rishisan, well, if you could, you know, do an event at Juness. You want me to substitute for Konami? So there's no way? <sighs> Is it really that bad? I don't know. I may be his son, but I'm still only a part-timer. But my dad's being awfully nice for some reason. I think it's possible that he might get fired if this thing falls through. 
If that happens, I might have to transfer schools again. <laughs> Seriously, what am I gonna do if that happens? Singing and handshakes only. No autographs and nothing that I can't do as a high school student. Otherwise, I'll get in trouble. And I'll only do it if you all get on stage with me. What? Wait! I'm no idol! It would be troublesome if people came to try to recruit me to be an idol. Me too! I already have an exclusive contract with Juness. I think you guys are worrying about the right things here. But if you're gonna sing, what are we supposed to do on stage? I need a band, of course. I'll make this very clear. I can't use pre-recorded tracks. Whoa, whoa, there's no way we can pull off something like that. I have some experience playing the keyboard. My grandfather suggested that I take piano lessons when I was younger. I have one that I can bring as well. You're up for this? This incident is a result of my actions, after all. I will do whatever I can to help. Naoto, thanks. If it's music you need, I have a guitar. Never really played it, though. Oh, wait, I accidentally bought a bass once. I think it's in storage. How do you accidentally buy something like that? I bet you just thought it was another guitar. Hmm. I should have some kind of musical instrument at my place for dinner parties and such. Some kind of instrument? Oh, boy. Then it's decided. I'll look for a song I can sing that can use a band arrangement. You guys get instruments and find a place to practice. Got it. Try to pick an easy one, okay? All right. Now that this is happening, I'm getting fired up about it. Let's go ask if we can borrow the music room at school. So, what are we going to do with these? I just grabbed whatever I could find that wasn't being used by the symphonic band. What is that? It's a gong. Well, duh. I'm pretty sure he meant to ask, what is that doing here? I thought Chie might want to play that. You know, it sounds kind of Chinese-ish. <sighs> um, I don't think that's gonna really matter in this case. I feel like Yukiko's taste in, um, what musical instruments to put in a song is similar to ingredients to put in cooking. Yosuke, try holding these! Huh? I see. Yeah, you do look like that when you're fighting. Try summoning your persona while you're holding those. Alright. Persona! I don't know if that's better or worse than corn or fish. Wait, I can't summon it here. I'll choose this then. <laughs> look, look! Isn't this like my fan? I think she's convinced we're playing for a dinner party at the inn. Come on, we need stuff like guitars instead of little backup instruments like these. Hey, I'll play the guitar. Why don't you take the bass? I can at least teach you a little bit. Whoa. I never thought I'd hear you call me that. Check out these moves. I've got mad air guitar skills. Well then, since you two and Natsu-kun have decided what to play, let's put Kanji on drums. Because, of course, Kanji gets put on drums. They always stereotype the drummers as being the dumb member of the band. Hey, why don't I get to pick? While, from what I've heard, drumming actually requires a lot of intelligence, and it's actually pretty complicated. If you're up front, it'll look like a metal band. I think you'd be good at the drums. You're always hitting and stomping on things, after all. Again, that's not how playing an instrument works. How does that make any sense? <laughs> then I will take over all the charming percussion accoutrement. Hey, baby, I'll lay down the passionate beats that flow from my soul. <laughs> uh, so that leaves Yukiko and me? The teddy jazz hands are still going. 
You two, um... How about the chorus? There is a part for that. Singing? No, 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 can do. We'll hold something. Let's see, what looks easy? Oh, doesn't this at least look like a band? Okay, wait, uh, when it comes to easy, I don't think... Trumpets and tubers are easy. This is not going to go well. Yeah, I don't think it looks bad at all. It's not how it looks that matters. It's how it sounds. It's not doing anything. Case in points. Is this thing broken? I'm blowing, but the air goes right through. That's how it is for everyone when they start out. Anyway, we don't have much time, so let's start practicing. What's with all the tadpoles on this paper? <laughs> Every additional sentence that comes out of their mouth just makes this whole situation even worse. Oh yeah, I don't know how to read music. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to transfer schools after all. And so, we're now an amateur band. Oh, welcome home, big bro. I've already got a band name in mind, but I'll save that until we actually play. And after a long day of band practice, we're going to go and tutor his students. Actually, hang on a second. Now that I think Naoto is officially- Yes, okay, so we can now get Naoto's weapons here. I would like to draw your attention to the Frost Shot in particular, plus 25% ice damage. This is going to require more Rose Quartz and more Masuda Stones, but I want to try and get this by the end of the game, even though weirdly the Water Gun is stronger. I suppose it would make you angry getting shot in the face with a Water Gun though. I also like the Rubber Band Gun. Now that reminds me of um, the Machop stomping the land flat in Kanto. Still hasn't built whatever it is that is going to be built there. We won't exactly know why the frost shot for Naoto is so good yet, but um, trust me, it's kind of important. But yeah, normally you would imagine that it would be the other way around here. You would study hard and then you would go to like band practice after school. Like this? Oh, I think I remember seeing things like this. I mean, I suppose this is kind of helping us study for our exams, even though we're going over material that's probably several. Um. Actually, considering Shu, it's probably about our grade level. He actually likes it best if you say this. No kidding. Looks like there are transfer students everywhere in Inaba. <laughs> yeah, he likes it best if you joke with him here. Kind of sounds like the big fish in the small pond analogy. Your lessons are a lot easier to understand. Sometimes home tutoring works better for some people. Though, you know, I would prefer if, you know, the actual school was doing its job. Take care now. And now... Once more from the top. One, two, three, four. <laughs> that wasn't me. 
This, um, this is a weird topic to bring up now, but this reminds me of, um, Carlos's early attempts at creating his ridiculous musical contraption in that one Magic School Bus episode. That wasn't me either. I mean, I can't get any sound at all out of this. A hip and young audience yearns for the element of surprise in music as well. A bizarre sound suddenly rings out. An overturning of the expected cliches found in today's sound. You get it? Well, it more sounded like somebody just dropped something. Oh, I get it. <laughs> that means Teddy did it, doesn't it? Huh? That reaction overturned my expectations. Why don't we take a break? We've been at this since morning. Good idea. My fingers are all stiff. Nice follow-up now, Chan. I think I'm falling for you. Let's just ignore this bear. Are we really going to manage this? I'm starting to get the feeling that it's impossible no matter what we do. There's just not enough time. Sensei, I... I want to play in a band! If it's over, then it's over for Yosuke too! That means it's over for me! And I can't bear to face that! <laughs> I don't want to know that you're only doing this because you're selfish. But you've got a point. If we give up, it all ends there. That's right. Everything would have been for nothing if we give up now. The real brawl doesn't begin until you got your back to a wall. Uh, we're not talking about a brawl here. I thought for a second we were talking about the case. I'll do it too. It's not just about Yosuke now. I'll simply feel angry at myself if I give up. Don't worry, Yosuke-senpai. I agreed to do this, so I'll do it. I didn't say anything pathetic like, I'll do what I can. I'm going to get a huge crowd, no matter what. And they will go home satisfied. Please, I just need your help to do it. Wow. Now that's how a pro delivers a team-boosting speech. <laughs> well then, should we resume our practice? All right, let's do this! I did it! I did it! So this isn't broken after all. <laughs> That was really great, I love that. Okay, let's try putting your music together and I'll sing along. Well, wait a sec. Can't we get a little more practice before we try doing that stuff? Playing for the real reset. I mean, I'm all for that. Don't think of it like that. I'm seeing how hard you're trying and I don't want to just sit and watch you practice without me anymore. Here goes. One, two, three, four. sound pretty good? By the way, yes, that is Laura Bailey. <gasps> that was actual music! Yeah, it felt good. It seems there's hope after all. The band has practiced hard and overcome many obstacles that dared face them. But now is their time to truly shine. All they have to do is discard whatever remaining fear holds them back, and a lifetime of public adoration awaits! Hell no! We've already been on a TV show. A midnight one. I was discarding my clothes more than I was discarding my fear. For me, it was like discarding my public image anyway. C come on, everyone! Let's cheer up, okay? Well, that got dark pretty quickly. And you! You have a bunch of stuff lined up, but you're still only playing the tambourine! <laughs> Haven't you heard the phrase, A clever bear conceals his claws? 
I'm gonna play a special little bear formance of my own and charm all the girls. That saying's about a hawk, not a bear. And don't even think about it. We don't have the skills to ad lib. Do you understand me? We're doing this exactly like we practiced. Got it? What? If you don't, then I'll make sure you pay for all the topsicles you've eaten during breaks at work. Just like we practiced. Got it? I don't want to have to pay a million yen. Well, let's take it from the top one more time. Keep up that energy that we had before. Lay into the night, huh? But we still have our evening. Welcome back. And harvest time. Was I? I I was melons, wasn't it? Oh, that um actually reminds me of something. <laughs> that sounds really pervy. This is what it's reminding me of. But um yeah, I forgot to mention during the whole um exam thing. But um yes, canonically Naoto is stacked. The game leaves it somewhat ambiguous, but it's very heavily implied, and yes, it is canon. And okay, so tonight we actually should check the TV because there is a very um, useful thing on the home shopping channel right now. Nice shoes. Were these worn by Nice Guy in Shadow Kanji's fight? But no, we're actually buying the huge fish for the cats. And it comes with more dry ice. Yeah, let's get the huge fish combo. That's some pretty expensive fish, though. And so, okay, we could read Catching Bugs and catch up to that, or we could do what the guide's saying and read Home Gardening, which might actually prove a little bit more useful in the long run. Speed up vegetable harvest. That's actually going to be really useful. Kind of wish we'd read that earlier, but oh well. Maxing out stats is, um, I guess, a bit more important. Unfortunately, speed reading doesn't really help us that much with- Oh, it does cut down- cut it down by one session. Crap. The crowd's a lot bigger than I expected. And we're also in our winter uniforms. Don't say stuff like that! You're making me even more nervous! Uh-uh. Are costumes okay? I mean, I mean, they're just our normal school uniforms, even worse than the winter ones. Hey, I think the window uniforms look a lot cooler than your summer ones. What else could we have done? It's not like we have any costumes. The clothes we've been wearing all summer will work as costumes, and since we'll be changing wardrobes tomorrow, it works out. Oh, crap. I, I can't stop my legs from shaking. You'll be hitting the skins more than a bare-knuckle boxer! You, you shut your stupid bear trap! I don't need to hear this! You've been on TV before, right, now, Tokun? Aren't you used to this? You haven't said a word, though. The last time I played for a crowd was a piano recital when I was young. Doing an interview on TV is much easier. Oh yeah, that's gonna calm everyone's nerves. Even if I make a mistake, I'm the only one who gets embarrassed by it. <laughs> now, if any of you makes a mistake, we all get embarrassed. No pressure or anything. You're saying doing interviews is easy? That's crazy, too. Oh, I can't take this much longer. Don't you get nervous, too? <laughs> I'm pretty sure canonically he's completely fine with all of this. But I kind of want to see what happens if you say this option. Wait, you are? Sensei's face is like a waterfall! Uh, what are we supposed to do? Huh? Did someone just... Everyone, can you gather around for a second? Y yeah, got it. Your hearts are all racing, right? So is mine. But that's the power behind a live performance. Don't think about doing everything exactly right. The crowd's here to have fun, so we need to have fun first. Risei John. When I say who's ready, you say we are, okay? Be thankful for your fans, your friends, and yourself. This is a full-blown, one-time-only performance. Now who's ready? We are! Fired up, 
and ready to go. Rise is fantastic at motivational speaking. Now listen up. We're sticking to how we practiced, okay? Alright, let's do this! Ah, oh, there's gonna be an unexpected Teddy solo, isn't there? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Rise and the Investigators! They're asking for an encore. encore, encore, encore oh yeah, I, I didn't think about that. Encore, 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 we only know one song. Encore, 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 what do we do now? Just play it again, I guess. There are only two things we can do: ignore them and leave, or play the same song over again. Maybe we can have Risa explain our situation, and they'll go easy on us and let us replay that song. I saw that guy before. I'm getting fired up. Hey, Teddy? Please don't go berserk in here or you um kill everyone. Yeah! Crowd surf! This is the best part of being a live performer! Stupid Teddy, we can't play without him. Hey, hey, why don't we all dive into the crowd? They might just carry us out of here and we can escape this awkward situation. Stage dive? Hey, don't sound so excited. Actually, if all seven of us jump in, there'd be trouble. Then what are we gonna do? Do we have any other way out? If you want to do it that much, then just the guys do it. Uh, all right. I'll show you what it means to be a man. Hey, wait, you idiot! They just dodged out of the way. How? I didn't know it was possible to stand on your own face. I can just imagine just you being completely silent for a few seconds and then just saying, I think my knee's broken. Though I will just say, I've heard stage diving is actually really dangerous in real life and people have been very seriously injured doing it, so don't try that at home. Overall though, a few things that I can say about that scene. We're just going to be reading Home Gardening tonight. So, the song they played there is called True Story. That is actually the opening theme for the episode of the Persona 4 anime that introduces Rise. The anime actually um, predated Golden, so this is basically an adaptation of um, that song. But in the anime, it was all entirely in Japanese. For the first time, they actually localized the song into English, and Laura Bailey actually sings it. She can sing, like, she's sung for some of her other uh, voice roles before, and she sings parts of the Critical Role theme song too, so... She definitely has experience in that area, so another 
amazing reason why casting Laura Bailey as Risei was fantastic. And yeah, we know, reduced by a day, that's basically what the book told us. The other thing is, although that scene kind of um, already adds to a section between dungeons that's already a little bit crowded with filler, I think that's one of my favourite filler comedy scenes in the game. Like, the comedy moments are decent, the characters aren't derailed into jerks for the most part, and it's just kind of a nice, fun, heartwarming session between the whole investigation team overall. We get to see Rise being a motivational speaker. I love the comic timing of Yukiko finally figuring out how to play her instrument. It's just, it's all, I think it's pretty decent overall. But you might notice that everyone has switched back to winter uniforms, and I'm glad for that because I vastly prefer the winter uniforms to the summer uniforms. I don't know how many other people feel this way, but I just, um, I really like, um, the way that the character- I just feel like the winter uniforms are just so much more iconic to the Persona 4 cast. For the most part, um, in general in Persona games I prefer the winter uniforms. Although I think I'm, I'm okay with the summer ones for Persona 5, I think. For P3 I prefer the winter uniforms as well. Okay, not the kind of history I thought you'd be into. When I first read what did Napoleon have invented, I thought the grammar was wrong, but actually no, it's fine in context. Here it's glass jars. Yeah, that does kind of make sense. I think, like, cannery is a technology you can research in Age of Empires 3 in the factory to improve food production. And Age of Empires 3 is set around the same time as Napoleon. Well, oh, of course it is, because Napoleon's like the AI personality for the French civilization. <laughs> Smash them with rocks, though, that sounds kind of, um, awkward. Fun fact, the guy who voices Napoleon in Age of Empires 3 also voices him in Psychonauts. Or at least the, um, weird, um, um, yeah, mental memory of him inside someone's mind world. Wow. Hi, Nanako-chan. Hi, Teddy. Hey, greetings to you. Greetings to you. Looks like you're having fun. I mean, that's probably one of the least, um, bad phrases you could be teaching her. Yo. Wow, everyone's here. Including Naoto this time. So many people. Ananako hasn't really met Naoto. Why did everyone come here? Oh, right. Well, um, you, luckily, not being a human, don't have to suffer through one of the most horrifying things ever invented. Exam study group. Times like these, I'm jealous of Teddy. It seems like a dream that we had a live concert here only yesterday. I feel like this scene was always there, but they must have added this line in in Golden. That was so much fun. I didn't think the crowd would get that excited. But enough of that. Let's start with proving the trigonometric identities. Oh boy, I can't even remember that from high school. <sighs> Jumping straight into math? Ours is the section on trig functions, right? The one where we find the area of a triangle given two sides and... I think we've already lost Kanji. Huh? You find the area of a triangle with... You know, that thing. Um... Base by height by two. If you don't mind, shall I teach you? Oh, are you as smart as I thought? Could you, uh, lend me a hand too? No, please, please, please don't, um, don't ruin this, um, shipping moment that I'm having here. Oh, um, I wouldn't know where to begin with second year's subjects. Ah, uh, what's up with that? Useless after all. Don't call me useless. <laughs> I think I've figured out what buttons to push to get Naoto-kun riled up. 
You're pretty cute when you're angry. What? What are you talking about? That's it. I quit. This just ain't my thing. To hell with the exams. It's time for my animal crackers. Oh, can I have some too? I want to find the penguin. Hands off the penguin. It's mine. Ugh, forget it. I can't think. Why is it that every time they mention the penguin with the animal crackers, the lines just always look like someone would take them out of context and make them look really weird? Teddy says he doesn't know who he is. <laughs> That's so weird. My life on this side is really fun. But the more I feel that way, the more I want to know who I really am. I've surfed the net, read manga, watched TV. I even went to a place called the library, but I still can't find anything about me. Dude, I'd be surprised if you did. Still, I'm starting to get an idea. An idea? Whoa, isn't this your first time sharing a theory about yourself? I lived in that other world. That world was my reality. But now, I have a feeling that it was born from the minds of people on this side. And over in that place, filled with shadows, I think I was some sort of special being. A special being? I don't remember anything from back then, though. Maybe it's that amnesia thing I read about in a book the other day. It's true. There are some aspects of the other world that make it seem as though it's rooted in human thoughts. From what we've seen, though, we always thought that people who are thrown in there create those worlds around them. But are people outside the TV also influencing it? Still, there's no point in applying the principles of logic and deduction to a place like that. And we're all just fine talking about all this in front of Nanako, right? But the fact that you existed in such a world from the beginning adds credibility to your theory. There is little doubt that you are a special being on the other side. If you yourself know nothing about it, perhaps it's true that part of your memory is missing. Though, Shadow Teddy did say you have no lost memories. Tell me, what is the earliest memory you can call to mind? It's from a while ago. I've always lived there, as far as I could tell. Then it started to get noisy, so when I happened to bump into Sensei and Yosuke, I asked them to do something about it. I see. If you've always been on that side, you'd have no sense of time or days. That's right! Nanako-chan's completely clueless about all this! Are we gonna try and pretend it's some weird game that we're playing? I'm sorry, Nanako-chan. We didn't mean to leave you out. Hey! I think Teddy must be a king. I read in a story that a king was all alone inside a forest because of a bad guy's curse. Isn't that what happened to you, Teddy? A king? Well, when you put it that way, it sounds about right. Well, last time you were a king, things didn't end well for you or everyone else involved. Teddy? A king? <laughs> I can see him wearing a cape! <laughs> Sheesh, Yukiko. You go into laughing fits in front of anyone now. Can we not talk about Teddy being a king? Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Huh? What's with that face? Teddy really was a king. There were all these other kings too, and we all- And this is the thing we really don't want to talk about in front of Nanako, so somebody shut him up now. Hey, he's talking about what happened at the club. Quiet, you not in front of Nanako-chan. Am I really a king? <laughs> if I'm a king, I'll get to smooch girls every day! I have this fuzzy feeling that I'll find out sooner or later with your help, Sensei. And so we're setting up for the spin-off All Hail King Teddy, I guess. Just as long as it's not the weed kind from the fridge.
Speaking of the fridge, I think there's actually something in there now. A bag full of clams. <laughs> yes, we don't want to eat something in the fridge that looks fresh, no. That is not to our taste at all. Okay, so today we're going to go and uh, do another rank of tower. So that is kind of a nice scene, and I feel like the concept was a nice lead into that one. Obviously that scene uh, happened in the original game as well, because it was a star rank up. We're progressing that one pretty quickly too, we're all the way up to rank 7. Yeah, you can change sentences in Japanese quite a lot just by admitting certain, uh, like, particles and things like that, or words. Oh, okay, that was English, right. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure even a lot of people who speak English as their first language are not good at it. Okay, yeah, this is exactly the wrong way to teach language. I hate it when languages are taught like this. Yeah, describing the kind of people who probably should not be teachers. You know, I feel like maybe you should go and talk to that transfer student. Yeah, you get a courage boost from that option. Yeah, everyone kinda has to. Well, I don't like the sound of the school that he's at. <laughs> I was about to say Yasugami isn't really all that bad, and then I realized we have, um, Miss Kashiwagi. And a lot of other kind of weird teachers. Please come back again. Shoes Social Link is another one that I don't really hear talked about very much in the Persona 4 fandom. But it brings up a lot of interesting points about Japan's school system and actually has quite a bit of criticism for it. Yo! Well, yeah, especially the, um, you know, the machine type shadows. I mean, they look very uh, Phoenix Rangers Featherman esque. Yeah, everything kind of looks like something from Human Thoughts. You know, because we all think it's a TV show, then it looks like one. Or maybe this. Either way, it's all about cognition. They don't call it that, but um, cognition has always been a pretty major theme of the Persona series. It's one of the things that I find really fascinating about it. <laughs> wow, okay, rumors spread fast, everyone, no, <laughs> everyone uh, knows about Chie's meat obsession, but anyway, uh, jack o -Lans, the first thing... <laughs> Yeah, no, the obvious answer is not the case. It is, in fact, turnips. I've never actually really seen a carved pumpkin before. Oh, okay, this line right here, this line, I think I know what it's a pun on. So in Japanese, the word for turnip is kabu, which is also the same word for stock. 
And they use that pun in Animal Crossing as well. That's why turnips act like the stock market, because they are pronounced the same way in Japanese. And they did manage to kind of translate that pun by calling it the stork market in English, I think. Oh, okay, everyone's reacting to that concert. Anything happen between you and Rooftop Girl? You know what, I would probably suggest joking around, but I don't know. I never heard of heebies and jeebies being said separately. So around the school there are actually a few quests we can pick up today. For example, the principal actually has a quest for us. Never really seen you out and about the school. Well, we're pretty much perfect proof of that. Um, okay then. Well, uh, that's certainly something we never thought we knew about our principal. I actually saw, like, a, a thing on, on TV about someone who actually did collect tanks. That must require a lot of money. But hey, let's try and hunt down a cognitive tank and get you, uh, one of these shells that you want. Also another quest from a teacher. Ah, uh, yes, our side quest reputation precedes us. Crystal Ball. Don't know what that has to do with Feng Shui, but I'll certainly accept this. So, another quest accepted. And our last quest at school is, and I'm very happy about this, from Girl with Glasses on the first floor. Also, Naoto's Hello. here. Uh... We actually might go today, but you might notice that we don't have a social link with Naoto available. We'll find out a little bit more about why that's the case later. High speed gear. Well, I happen to know that comes from the wheel enemies in Naoto's dungeon. Not really sure what, what kind of art you're making uh, with that, but I look forward to seeing it, I guess. Oh, hey, you're here now. Yeah, not available today, seems like. And there are a couple of things we can do in town as well. The first thing is there's a new book available at the bookstore. Uh, well, uh, that's a bit of a weird analogy, because you still have to steer, I mean, unless you've got one of those Google Navigated cars. But anyway, today we can buy Farewell to Man. I believe this is the finale in Kanju Tatsumu series. And books don't get released again until the start of November. The final lesson. And World Class Bugs. Know how your enemy thinks. Did Misty from Pokemon write that? Well, okay. Guess he's just continuing whatever job he's doing right now for her. And we also have this quest available right now. This one is a little bit annoying. I mean, we've got our own goddess at the stage with us now. An invincible skirt. 
So, this is a piece of art from Daidara that you need to sell 8 power rocks for. We could have this now, but I didn't. The main reason I'm coming here is because Neo Feather Man says yes, 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 yes. I wish this unlocked before. It is really freaking expensive. Wow, but I'm gonna get it. I wish this unlocked before Naoto's dungeon, but uh, it does not. But anyway, speaking of dungeon, and speaking of those power rocks, uh, while I'm here, I may as well try and uh, get the Neko Shogun doll again. Finally! That took a while. Well, that's dark. Maybe you should ask her to see a zombie movie sometime. So what I was saying, about those power rocks, there's a quest that unlocks tomorrow that has us hunt down the power castles for an item drop. But an enemy can only drop one item at a time, so if we accept that, the power castles will not be dropping power rocks for us. And we need those. But if we go to the dungeon today, we will be missing out on being able to complete every quest in Naoto's dungeon in one go. So I'm having a little bit of a dilemma here. Because what the guide actually wants us to do today is it wants us to use the capsule machine for a trophy. But I already did that earlier in a, in a save uh, reload abuse session. So what I'm thinking is... Because I did a fortune for Eri earlier to uh, take care of what we're supposed to do tonight anyway... I am thinking that we're going to go to the dungeon today. Because our next visit to the dungeon for the story doesn't come for quite a while. Not until, like, ten days into November, just as a heads up. So, this segment would be very long without going to the dungeon if I didn't do this. So, I will see you in the laboratory of Dr. Fortune in our Featherman outfits next time.